This is Luna. She's a six-year-old Persian cat, and this is her first appointment with us. I start by clipping off her weapons. Her owners forewarned me that she does not like having her paws touched, so for our safety, I put a cone on her head while I work on her. We do not take chances with cats. A cat bite is more dangerous than a dog bite and can cause serious infection. She is getting a lion cut today, so I am shaving off the bulk of her hair before the bath so she can spend less time in the water and less time under the dryer. So far, she is behaving very well. And now it's time for her to go in the bath. To our surprise, for a cat, she is not very bothered by the water. I do not wash the face of any cats. I made that mistake once, and I had no idea cats could touch the ceiling. I am bathing her today in our feline-friendly shampoo. Products used on cats must specifically say that they are safe for cats. After she is bathed, we blow dry her with the high velocity dryer. I assumed she would dislike this, but the look on her face is telling me otherwise. After she is dry, I brush her out with my All System Slicker brush, and then I go back over her with my clipper to smooth out her haircut. Cat skin has to be stretched while you're shaving because it's very thin and can easily be caught in the clipper. They like to curl themselves in a ball, so unfortunately we have to put them in awkward positions and pull their legs from their bodies in order to shave them without injury. She started growling, so I put her back in the cone. Spicy I don't blame her for getting frustrated with me, as this is not the most comfortable positions to be put in. I mean, I wouldn't want to be held by my legs either. Most of the time. And this is why we always clip the nails before the rest of the haircut. I'm tidying up her paws, and then I spray her down in our baby powder cologne. And she's all finished, looking like a lion. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, Luna.